Hi, welcome. So in this video, I'm going to talk about praying and why it's so important to pray. Now, praying is uh, your greatest weapon when it comes to um, when it comes especially spiritual warfare. Prayer, praying, especially at mid midnight after midnight and early in the morning is so essential. OK, and I'm going to tell you why you need to pray and you need to start praying more nowadays because Things are not going to get good. They're going to get worse and you have to be prepared. Live right now, um, obviously, we're being exposed to a lot of darkness and uh, we have to understand that it's not going to get better. Um, it's actually going to get get worse and so, we're, so we have to be prepared. So what's happening in the life in the world right now, um, a lot more people will just start disappearing and people will start dying and uh, people will commit some more suicide and people will turn against each other. Uh, the case of mental illness will go very high in case you haven't noticed that right now um, we are pushed uh, forced to accept uh, mental illness as the normal thing it's not a normal thing it's not uh, and we have tolerated a lot of nonsense in the world and so it's really important that you start praying because not for yourself but for the humanity because you're going to have to live on this earth and you're going to have to you will indirectly experience what's happening in the world so it's in your best interest to start praying okay um also another thing the one of the good a very important reason is that when you pray you actually having direct link to god and god will you know you having more access to god's presence in your life and it's really important to have access to um to god's presence in your life because it's god that's going to fight your battles for you it's god that's going to um get you out of trouble it's god that's going to provide all the benefits in the world right now it's god that's the providing abundance you may not think what you have right now is god's doing but it is god's doing and you should i ideally should uh thank god okay so um I'm going to say this um when it comes to prayer you don't really there's no like um hard rule when it comes to prayer you can pray on your knees you can pray um you can pray you can see pray sitting down you can pray standing up you can pray in your chair you can sometimes you can pray in the toilets i mean to be honest yeah you have you know you can be thinking about god anywhere and you don't have to pray um uh, with your mouth moving you can pray in your head as well so thing is yeah you have to incorporate the fact that you should pray whenever you need to pray, whenever you like to pray, and whenever you can pray. So there is no hard rule what you should do, right? It is something, if you find that you find you want to have a structure in your life, then ask God, ask God which is the best time to pray and have this conversation with God between you and God, okay? And also, when you want to pray, you can pray in groups. When uh, two or more people gather together, it becomes more powerful. So when everyone's praying for the same thing, is so powerful that it can actually move mountains okay so i do encourage you to pray together with somebody else in a group okay but i especially i really like praying in the secret place with god i like praying alone with god and i like to do it on a daily basis and it is my me time um, so schedule some me time where you spend just you and lord you know you and god together because those are the time this time that you have with god that's where you're going to get revelation and clarity and god's going to help you to di you know direct your life so again what um praying is your um prayer it is your weapon when it comes to the world when you have nothing in the world yeah, you you have you know the prayer is something that you might feel like that's the only thing you have but here's the thing you, you can have everything in the world yeah, but it will not mean anything without the, your relationship with god because at the end of the day yeah god's gonna take you out god brought you god brought you in the world and god will take you out from the world so it is god's you know god has the power over our lives and even if we don't want to acknowledge that because we have our ego because our ego is like no 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 some of you guys may feel like you you know your ego is so big that you can't actually accept god's presence and just so you know that that is um, the enemy in your life um doing that you know um but then you also have freedom of will and so you uh, so it's not just the enemy the enemy can tempt you but it's your, also your, your own doing as well okay so how do you pray okay so like okay so we covered how the why you should pray so why okay i'm just going to just quickly say this why should you pray because it's your weapon and when things are going to get worse in life you need to pray for um you need to start praying and you need to start praying when things are going good in your life in fact so many people just pray to god for things they want and they think that god's a genie and it's going to just god's going to give them things like that thing is yeah god 
will reward you. God will give you what you need. You know, God will provide for you. But God is not something that you should use. God is somewhat, um, you, when you have really desperate need for something, yes, go to God. God is always there for the brokenhearted, the lost souls. People who are going, you know, like who are in a terrible state, God is always there. So all you have to do is reach out, you know, and just say, God, can you enter my life? You know, just ask for divine intervention and just ask, allow God to come into your life, okay? Um, and your life will transform. Now, here's the thing. When you pray and when you're going through a spiritual warfare, just know that things are going to get worse before they get better, okay? And just because you're praying to God, you you know, you, you know, you don't live in la-la land where everything's all rosy, okay? You'll find that, especially people who are looking through outside, you know, and looking in to see those people that like to pray, right? You know, people, most people that pray actually have go through a lot of hardship and deal with a lot more things worse than people who actually don't pray. The only difference is that um, people who do pray come out more rosy looking because they have the protection of God, okay? So that's, that's the difference between people who don't pray and people who pray. People who pray um, are protected by God and God loves them very much, okay? God loves you if you don't even pray, right? But I'm just saying that there's a protection around prayers. When you pray and when you are a strong believer, you you find that when you pray, your faith grows and then therefore protection actually, you know, there's a bigger protection around you because of your faith. And so, um, yeah, I can't believe it's six minutes, 29, okay? So, um, okay, so when you when you want to pray, yeah, you pray for yourself. It's very important to pray for yourself because, you know, you're with God here. So, you know, just let you, don't pray in a way that way you feel like you have to, like, be a robot. No, pray. Just let yourself go and pray. Ask God for what you want, okay? Even if it's something small, something stupid, something, you know, it is, God knows what's good for you and God will provide for you. Just so you know that, like, if you pray for something and it's to harm somebody else, oh, no, 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 that's not, you should not ever pray for harm on other people. If you don't like somebody, then ask God to remove you from them, okay? But do not pray to harm somebody else because that is witchy and that is going to just not, it's not good. Just don't go there, okay? All right, okay. Pray for good Pray for good things to happen to you, but and also pray for other people because the more we pray for other people, the more our prayers will be answered as well. So it's it's, it's a two way situation. Two um, way situation. We don't we shouldn't just only need to like think about praying, praying for ourselves. Okay, we have to pray for other people because what happens to other people will indirectly affect us. Okay, so let's say good things happen to you, but other people don't like it because you know, they're watching good things happen to you. So they're going to try to, you know, hurt you or harm you. So it's really good to pray for them so that they don't actually harm you. So it's a win-win situation, okay? Um, What else? Um, uh, also, um, prayers, they're very active, effective uh, after midnight. So, during, okay, during midnight, so after 12, okay? Just so you know, it's uh, they're very more effective. It's because uh, while most people are sleeping, the enemy and his demons and minions, they're working very hard to, you know, plan to sabotage your life. And so, therefore, if you're awake and praying against them, they can't do that. You see, a lot of um, people out there in the world are planning, st you know, st tactics, strategies to harm you. Yeah, we probably were thinking like, well, why would people do that? Well, actually, there's a lot of evil in the world that's, you know, you know, just around us. We can't see it because we, it's invisible, but it's through our eyes, right? But you can sense it, right? You can sense um, when somebody is trying to um, harm you. You can feel it if you're very sensitive to, sensitive to that. Yes, you can feel it. Okay. So, um, yes, yeah, so I encourage you guys to pray because uh, times are getting, going to get even worse and Pray is the weapon that you're going to have and that's going to help you out, okay? When things are looking really bleak in the world, prayer is going to help, you know, help you to come out from the tunnel of the darkness, okay? And you will be protected because you're praying to God. And uh, I want to remind you guys, when you do pray, that you should pray um, with a forgiving heart. So if you're holding on to anger, hatred, bitterness to somebody else, yeah, you need to ask God for forgiveness first before you actually pray for your um, prayers. Otherwise, it won't be answered and it will get delayed because you are actually, um, actually hurt, delaying your own self delaying your prayers okay so um i hope this video has helped you and i encourage you to pray more and um also if you would like me to pray for you then put down in the um in the comment section well you would like me to pray for you because i would like to pray for you and yeah okay thank you um <laughs> thank you so much bye bye bye